Hi guys. I came home and my fish tank light was off. Now I know that I messed my cord up on the fish tank light a long time ago. But I think thought I fixed it and I did, but there was water leaking. So the water got behind the tape that I had. I had electrical tape on it. And I'm gonna show you what I have to do to it. I had electrical tape on it, but the water, you know, moisture just gets into things. So this is what happened. The wires here, I don't know if you can really see them well, but the wires here, this is one, and then this is another wire right there. Um, they're supposed to be hooked to this side and this side. So then you can't see them. But um, like I said, I had to take it apart. So now I'm going to put them back together and they go in the fish tank light so I have to make sure that there's no water. So I went to the store, I went to Lowe's and I bought this electrical shrink wrap to go around the wires. So what I'm going to do is put, I'm, I really don't need the whole thing so I'm going to cut, cut it in half, just this little piece in half and then I'll put it on the wire which I have one on here already, like that. And then I'm gonna make sure that the wires line up to the right wire. So I'm gonna sit you down and I'm trying to let you see me do it, okay? And excuse my dishes. I just got finished washing dishes and I like to make sure things are clean. So now what I have to do is there's a place on the, the wire with like a little white line. I don't know if you can see the little white line. But there's a, a place on it where it has like the white lines on it. And like this one is a um, it's like a copper color. And then this one here is a black color. I don't know if you can see it. I'm trying to get it in the camera. Maybe I'll move it back some. So this one's copper color here. And then this one's copper color. <laughs> but the thing is... I have to line them up to the right one. So, um, this one has the little dots on it. I don't know if you can see that. And then this one here has the white wire on it. Like this is the white, and then this on um, this one is the white. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take these two, and I'm going to twist the, twist them together. And once I keep twisting them together. To make sure that they're connected so the wire can be connected uh, to each other. And then once they're connected to each other, then this is the shrink wrap can go over it. And I will put the like little electrical piece right here. I will take that and I will take this. See this? <laughs> the flame. And I would go like this on the flame, and it should shrink it down to size. So it's not gonna, you know, I'm just gonna just like smash it down a little bit. It's not hot, but I just want to make sure that it's, it's on there. So I'm gonna do it on this other side, make sure. And I'm gonna smash it down. So I want it to be right on there so the water won't get in it. I probably don't have to do it this much, but I'm just trying to make sure that it's on there really good. Because this way you don't have to use the electrical tape. Um, I may tape it anyway, but it is on there. And you know, you can you don't have to do it as much as I'm doing it. I'm just trying to make sure I'm not trying to mess it up, but I want to make sure it's on there. So there I feel it feel like it's on there. So now I'm going to do the other side, and I've got the right one. I've got the right wire. I'm going to put this one on the other side and stick it through, sticking it through the hole. I think I might bend it a little bit until I get it through, and then I will. Um, then after I do that, then I will unbend it, and then I will put this wire, these two wires together. Try to do it with some type of background where you can see 
and decided to come to my kitchen, put it on the countertop, and then I'm going to fold it into itself, and now that I have it folded into itself, I'm going to just push this shrink wrap over it, put it on there good and tight. Um, I've got this little piece that's hooked on it, but I think I can get it in sideways. I'm just going to twist it and see if I can get it on. Twist it and see if I can get it in sideways. Right. It's like a little piece of the plastic, a piece of the, the wire itself, but I'm pushing it on. I did get it on. I just wanted to make sure I got it on there right. And I can feel where it's right there. I have it right in the middle. Right in the middle. So now I'm going to put some more clay to it. And it's shrinking. Turn it over. I like to turn it over so I can get it down. And I'm smashing it down. Smash it down a little bit. And it's on there. You really don't have to do it that much. It's just... I'm trying to make sure that it's on. It's not that hot either. I'm just trying to make sure that it's on there. And say if you say if you had a piece that you um that you like you say you you missed missed it or something or you didn't get it exactly where you wanted it. You could always take this. This is just a demonstration for you. You could always take it. And you can cut a piece of it off. You can always cut it down in the middle like this. Because a lot of times people are like, well, what happens when, when something else happens? So I like to show them what to do to fix things too. So you go down, cut it in the middle. I'm trying to cut it like down in the middle like that. And I'm trying to be careful because I don't want to cut myself. It's not that hard. It's just like going cutting it down like that. Open it up. And once you get it opened up, you can put it on there. Cut it down a little bit more. So you cut this off. You can put it on there like that. And you can just put, put it right over it. Because remember, you're, you're going you're gonna to melt it to it. So... You put it over both joints. This is just an extended piece. It, it's um, it's in the middle. But I'm just showing you. And then you can put some plain to it. Turn it over. Do it again. And then it'll it'll adhere to the other one. But mine goes on a fish tank, so I'm trying to make sure I get mine, you know, doubled because I want to make sure like it, it doesn't get anything in it, no moisture. Because the moisture can find its way in to any little spot in the, like where the fish tank is. It gets up in here and. So I'm trying to make sure it's like doubled. I just want it to be doubled for me. I thought about it. And then I said I probably could put some tape on it. But what I'm going to do is take it in. We're going to take it. We're going to see if it's going to work. See if the light's going to come on. This is where the light is. Now I'm going to plug it in and see if it works. And it works. You see? This is where the pieces are, right here. The little pieces that I've done, you see right here, and right here in this area. And the light works. So I have it on. Everything's together. All the pieces are on together. And now all I have to do is take it to my fish tank. I put it on my fish tank. 
And once I do, then you see it will work. It's working now. So you see it's working now. So let's go to the fish tank. I'll take it to my fish tank. I don't have a very pretty fish tank at the moment. Because I, I've got it dark because I only, only have one light on. And I just want to make sure that I don't take you here and put you right here for a minute. I think you can still kind of see me. But it's okay. Don't be afraid of the dark. <laughs> don't be afraid. So I've got this on. I got the other part on. It's hard to do it when I'm holding the phone. And I'm going to bring it around to the side. Okay, I'll turn you around this way. And then you see me plugging it in. And the light will be coming on. And there it is. I've got it on. So that's the way I fix um, the fish tank. Now I, I need more light and it's dirty, so... <laughs> Please excuse the fish tank. I've got to clean it. I need algae on here because my fish, the um, the urchin, he has to have algae. So I need a little bit on it. I don't need a lot. So he has to have some algae on, on the fish tank. But this is on the outside. And they're a little hungry, so I'll probably feed them. But anyway, just wanted to show you how I fixed my fish tank light. Thank you for watching, guys. And um, hopefully, if you need to fix something, you will, you know, I'm going to get right here so you can see. <laughs> you will be able to fix something uh, with the shrink wrap. And you can use that as an example. I'm not an electrician, so I can't say that that's, you know, electrical advice. But just showing you what I did. All right. Take care. Bye.